Hi, my name is Elu. I'm part of the Plastic Credit Exchange, a Clean Cities Blue Ocean grantee. The Philippines is the third largest polluter of ocean plastic globally. Its population produces around 2.7 million tons a year of plastic, which 83% of that is mismanaged. And as you can imagine, insufficient waste management infrastructure is a huge problem. We decided to help the country tackle this problem through our Addington Data Program. Not all plastic has financial value, so we've decided to give financial value to all different types of plastic. We created a waste to cash program where communities come in and sell their plastic to their local little store owners in, in their neighborhoods. This owner then in turn sells it to us and we then take it to plastic processors. So we work with local municipalities and different organizations to identify Sari Sari store owners who are women. We then provide a container van, a baler and a weighing scale and we train them on how to do this. So the idea is that the community benefits from income. The Sari Sari store owner or the Alentindera benefits from income and we're able to clean up plastic from the communities at a local level. So for example, here are two of our Aling Tinderas. This is Aling Lormer from Santa Mesa and Aling um, Socorro from Santa Ana. They both collected thousands of kilograms of waste. And on to the right, you can see a poster of the different types of waste that we collect. And this poster is visible within the community so people can see it. Our key impact is that we've been able to deploy six Aling Tinderas with the CCBO and USAID sites. We have other Aling Tinderas in our larger program. We've developed different manual baler designs. Um, this has been a challenge on being able to provide a baler that works the best for our Aling Tinderas. Their income has increased over 60% and 13% of this is profit. The lessons that we've learned in, in this year has been that COVID is a real challenge when working with communities and government, um, trying to do community development when there's a pandemic going on, obviously presents its challenges. Given that we can't have this massive outreach in the communities, we're trying to come up with creative ways on being able to tackle that. I think the biggest lesson for us is flexibility is extremely important. Whatever you have on paper and are ready to deploy and ready to do, odds are it probably in the field is going to need tweaking. So you need to have the flexibility to be able to do that tweaking and to be able to adjust to the situations. I think that we've been able to do that pretty well, um, given the circumstances. And we've seen our program pivot in different ways that we didn't know it could.